Boys and girls, we have been working on the adding up strategy to use when we're subtracting. My first problem for you is 50 minus 44. Go ahead, think about it and solve it. Good, I see some of you have an answer. Now I want you to think if there's another way to solve it. Tell me what 50 minus 44 is. What is it, Calissa? Six. You say six? Okay. Akio? Six. Six. Agree with six. Jordan? Six. Six. Okay. Navi? Six. six. Does anyone have something different than six? Devante, what did you get? You forgot? Okay. So it looks like we agree. Jordan, you have something different? Jordan, what do you have? Because it's six. It's six. So you think the answer is six? Yeah. You're right. The answer is six. Who can tell me how we know that 50 minus 44 is six? Who can tell me how to solve that? Morgan, how do we solve that? So you count up six to get to 50. So what I did is I added up 6 to 40, or 44 to 50. So you started at 44 and you went up to 50. 50. How did you get up to 50? <laughs> um, I, I used a 5 and then I count. Okay. And then I added a one. All right. And then I got six. Where did you get six from? Because I ant um I I added five plus one. Okay. Which is six. Mm -hmm. And then I counted on up to fifty. Okay, so you know that 44 plus 6 was 50. And you knew that because 44 plus 5 got you to 49, and one more got you to 50. So you made two jumps. Okay, did somebody solve it a different way? Brooklyn, you did it a different way? Brooklyn, what did you do? So I subtracted 50 times 45, but I... I know it's easier when you do it from the five mark, so I added one to the four and got 45, and then I added, then I added um, five more and got 50. Okay, so you knew to get from 44 to 45, you would add one. Mm -hmm. And then you knew from 45 to 50, you would need to add five. five. And so when we have our two jumps, one and five, we know that equals six. six. What do you notice about both Brooklyn and Morgan's pro, um, strategy? What do you notice about both of them? Cameron, what do you notice? They both split the numbers. They both split the numbers to do their jump. What do you notice about the way they split their numbers to do their jump? Thomas? They both split it into one and five. They both split it into a one and a five. What do you notice is different about the way they split their numbers? Jayla. They had Morgan. They, they, Brooklyn had Mm -hmm. Brooklyn went with the one first. Yep. And then the five. Mm -hmm. And what did Morgan do? She did the five first and then the one. Good. So this strategy is called adding up because we're starting at our smaller number and we're adding up to get to the final answer. All right, let's try another one. Ready? Let's try it with 50 
minus 39. Try that one. But this one. some of you have answers, then I want you to think of a different strategy. Tell someone you're sitting by what you got as the answer. All right, who can tell me what you got as an answer? I'm looking for this. Thank you. Who can tell me what you got, Mackenzie? What'd you get? 21. 21? Okay. Thomas, what'd you get? 21. 21? Okay. Akia? 21. 21. Okay, so I see Cameron agreeing. All right. Did anyone get something different? Amir? 11. 11. Malaya? 11. 11. Okay, so when I call on you, I want you to defend your answer. I want you to say, I think it's this because, and tell me how you solved it. Who would like to tell me, is the answer 21 or 11, and how you know? All right, Amir, tell us what you think it is. 11. 11, and tell me why. I think it's 11 because I know... 3 minus, wait, 5 minus 3 equals 2, so I added, so I have 50 minus 30 equals 20, and I minus, and I counted down by 5, 9, well, I counted down 9 times, okay. 9, and then I got 11. Oh, let me get it, squeeze it on there. There we go. So he subtracted 30 from 50, and then he subtracted 9 more, and he got 11. Okay. Did anyone else do that strategy? No. Is that the adding up strategy? No. No, but it's a strategy that worked for him. Who can tell me another strategy that they used, and what did you get? Malaya. What did you do? I did. I chose 11. 11? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I started from 39. Okay. And then counted until I got to 50. And when I did, I got up 11 fingers. How did you count? You were counting by ones. ones. All right, everybody, let's count by ones. Ready? 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 50. So we had 10 and we started a new round, so that was 11. So we counted by ones. Is that the adding up strategy? No. No, but he, she still got 11. Did anybody do the adding up strategy that we've been practicing to solve this in their head? Someone I haven't called on yet at all. Cameron, you used the adding up? Yes. Okay, Cameron, what did you do? I changed my answer to 11, and okay. I, I added a 1 to 39, and then added a 10, and, it equal, and I got 11. So you had 39, and what did you do to 39? added a 1. You added a 1, and what did that get you to? 40. Oh, and when we end up at a 40, it's easy to add on to because it's a multiple of 10. Okay, so what'd you do next? I added a 10. To the 40. 40. So you did 40 plus 10, and that got you to 50. 50. And where's your answer of 11 come from? 10 plus 1. Yeah, the 10 and the 1, the two jumps that you did. 10 plus 1 equals 11. 11. Nice. This is the adding up strategy. All right, let's try another one. Ready? One more last one for today. Ah, here we go. 
50 minus 29 equals, try that one, try the adding up strategy. to have one, so I want you to try a different strategy then. <laughs> Alright, who can tell me what they got? Jordan, what'd you get? 21? Jeremiah, what'd you get? 21. 21? Okay. Brooke, oh, I see you agreeing. Brooklyn was agreeing with 21. Did someone get something different than 21? Malaya? I got 51. You got 51? So when we did 50 minus 29, we got to a bigger 51? 21. Okay, because that doesn't sound right, does it? To subtract and get bigger in our number? All right. It is 21. Who can tell me how did you solve that it was 21? Who can I call that? Keandre, what did you do? So you counted all by ones. Okay, everybody, let's do it. Ready? 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we went through our hands two times. So 10, 20, and one more made 21. It did get 21, but boy, did that take a long time. Does anyone have a little bit faster strategy to do that they could do? Akil, haven't called on you yet. Akil. Okay. So you jumped up to 30, and that was one. Ah, by getting us to 30, we have a really easy number to work with, a landmark number. Okay. Because when you're in a multiple of 10, then you can just count by 10s. Ready? So let's do that. 30, 40, 50. Good. So here I did the plus 10, the plus 10. Where'd you get your answer from, Akhil? I almost just did it. You tell me. Where's the answer from, Akhil? Mm -hmm. So we got the 10, 20, and the 1. This is called counting up. This is called adding up. And this is the strategy we've been practicing. Good job, boys and girls. We'll do more tomorrow. All right.